tastes like boiled. Hey, strangers. Randy's the name. Automobiles are the game. Flab's master mechanic, they call me. How can I help? Nothing much, really. Something's been prowling the Warrens, killing anyone who goes down there. Some big beastie, you know. The suicide pig's got something to do with it, but I don't know what. Sorry, not much help, I know. Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here, like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. They sent me a letter. My parents are dead, and they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? You mean, get them, get them? Hmm. I don't normally condone violence, but if it's what it takes... Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family, and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. See you there. It don't take too long, okay? I suggest you speak to Flab. Doctor Cold Cotskin. Yo, what a point. Hello. Name's Hirsch. Lev Hirsch. But you can just call me Doctor Cold Cuts. <laughs> what do you need? Yeah, pig, human, <laughs> ain't so different. <laughs> Cash first and I'll fix you right up. Aces. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. Promise. Oh, it used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all about how the body works by carving up meat. <laughs> uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. Uh, not much. Got all kinds of traders here, selling all sorts of junk. <laughs> the heart of this place is meat, though. Pig meat is a luxury not everyone can afford. Anyway, got a bit of a pickle of late. Something murderous roaming the Warrens. Some say it's the old monster army leader. The Cyclops come back from the dead and hunting us. Bunch of BS if you ask me, but something's down there. Uh, talk to Flab if you haven't already. Ah, the self-medicating sort. Sure, take a look. Just you speak to Flab. As I live and eat cherry pie, more of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? Fellow humans? Well, gosh, and apple pies, you put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Was it something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all? There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. 
humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I've walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. Colorado Springs. It's an all right place. A little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. Nuh-uh. Place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler. Well, you might be all right. If you do decide to go in that direction, I've heard that it's gotten real dangerous. Steel Town. That place is an industrial nightmare. Raging fires all around. Melts right through the st 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 skin. Gives me the shivers, you hear? I'd stay away from the city. It's nothing but a corpse these days, and the Gippers, well, they're not a bad lot per se, but I'd be careful around them. If you have to spend some time, I'd personally visit the airport instead. The young'uns there are wonderful. You kids these days and your limited attention spans. Some of it is real private, and some of it probably should be. But you young whippersnappers tell everyone everything. Like Paradolia Jones? He's probably the best damn caravan master in the bazaar. But his business would be better if he knew how to keep his mouth shut. Between you and me, if I was afraid of ducks, I wouldn't tell a soul. Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle, just like you, Rangers. Shucks, I even have dreams all the time. Technical dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Sense don't do that. I'm not a synth. Why, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. I also enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> All right, fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. Do they? I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap by now? People don't like sense, far as I've seen. You're clever ones, and bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. So soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Best of luck to you. Hey, pals. Finn is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is something for everyone. Guns, armor, food, meds, entertainment, and most importantly, booze! If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. One thing's for sure, there's something weird going on here. Flab the Inhaler is the man who is large and in charge of the bazaar. And I ain't kidding you when I say large. From what I've seen, he's always in his office, just up the stairs. Ah... Uh, I don't know. I suppose 
Everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. Just don't know quite what. Only the finest drinks on earth. My friends, my name is Masato, and let me tell you, your taste buds will remember the day you met me. Here, have you ever seen anything this delicious? Yes, yes, be my guest. After enjoying this bowl, know that my store is open to you. I have a variety of goods that you may find useful. A man who never eats pork is never a whole man. But I have to tell you, my friends, these noodles are a pale imitation of the real thing. The great pre-war delicacy. The rarest of rare magics. Instant ramen noodles. I hope one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough about me. How can I be of service? Ah, you picked up on my subtle hint. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. The Warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand, it is as if my body is made of ramen. If you go down in the Warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. Yes! My friends, you don't know what this means to me. You have altered the course of human gastronomical history. Here, a small measure of my gratitude. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? My, my friends, that is quite the offer you're making me. Thanks to you, I've accomplished my goal here, so I am more than ready for my next adventure. Let me pack up my supplies here, and I'll see you at your HQ. Eidolon is relatively new to this place. She showed up not long after I did. Her business model is... interesting. Not sure how she actually makes money, though. Naturally, my store is always open to you, my friends. Hot noodles. You hear the stories about the killer clown? They say he's guys sanctified with blood. Blood. I can't say. Hmm, heartbeats that I don't recognize. Come closer, strangers. The sanctified Piscatelli crafts weapons of all sorts for those in need. And she can read that you are very much in need. Have you ever loved something so deeply that it gouges loose all the fears you might have possessed? If so, you would know what these scars are. Benediction. Sanctification. Certainly.
guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. Guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by guns. We should visit sometime. Hot noodles. You're up, Arky. <laughs> Howdy, ma'am. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. Could you... Could you please take that away? I don't like ducks. Oh, thank you. Thanks to the Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. I could tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another, but I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe, but still lots of people need help getting around, especially if you want to range further than that. So long. Huh, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. Kinda depends on who's buying. For you, mm, leather goods, protective gear, armor. Up to you if you want to deflect stabbings or look like a badass. Either way, I have you covered. That's why I'm here. Wow, are you rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left, uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any rangers in a while. Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome! Uh, I'm Quarex, by the way. This is my cool museum of, uh, coolness. W would you like a tour? Really? Uh, okay, this way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Welcome to Quarex's Cabinet of Quariosities, a collection of the rarest of the... Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. That top hat belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in L.A., I if a any fellow of game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy
this throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was who... This is a slicer dicer, this skip. This is a And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky, he had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around his shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Now, who are these beauties in my theater? Come, come to Adelon. I'm tired of shopping. Go to the arcade. What are better than any of these here? Some serious ass with you. games. Come, speak with Flynn. I suggest you speak to Flap. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flap. Uh, stay away from that safe, lambs. I suggest you speak to Flap. Ah, children of the desert. What wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jacob the Magnificent? This wonderful, wonderful... Uh, okay. Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. You have not noticed? I am surprised, but nonetheless, we have been under assault, my friends. Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing, not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced, but then a pig appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar, ran into a party of mashers and exploded. Quite distressing. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my masters to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. Really? I'm impressed by your initiative. Clowns, you say? This could only have been Los Payasos, they are monsters without conscience, with no respect for human life or dignity. Friends, the bazaar is indebted to you. All our stores are open to you, at a discount. And here, take this as a token of my thanks.
again. Whoa! You know, you haven't lived until you climbed aboard Barnes Nightstick. <laughs> well, look at these gorgeous beauties who made their way to Adelon's Chick Slicks Theater. You're a sight for sore eyes, honey lips. Movies? Oh no, sweetheart. We deal in real flesh and blood shows. Ah, sugar plums. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks Theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are running low on material. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star. But we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. In any currency you want, baby. Monetary and otherwise, trust me. I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The Monster Army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years, so it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Anytime, gorgeous. The bazaar? 
Hmm. Well, you can get some good eats here, if you like pork. And things are a lot better without those nasty clowns in the basement. You sure took care of that, sweeties. They're fantastic, gorgeous people, talented, double-jointed, incredibly flexible, incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. This is Chick's Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. The little extra sexy sauce leaves our customers extra satisfied. Yes, please. Let's keep talking, gorgeous. Come back again soon. Those asses are too beautiful to stay gone. Yeah. That weird guy in the fountain? He's staring at us again. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. Can we check out Pichatelli's shop next? Yeah, I know. How can I contain all this sexiness? Let's not split pubic hairs here. This is the man you want. Just try to imagine me whispering sweet nothings in your ear. You know, you haven't lived until you climbed aboard Barnes Nightstick. <laughs> I know you want me, but what am I? I know you want me, but what am I? <laughs> oh, shit. That we've hot noodles!
need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. Calling the November Cowboys. You read me out there, Caballeros? You all recovered from that big old Colorado welcome the Dorseys gave you? Ha! Ain't you nosy? Switch over to 27.065 megahertz. All will be revealed. Howdy, Rangers. Sorry about the clowning. Have to keep a low profile these days. This is your old pal, Angie otherwise known as Ranger Colonel Angela Death. Ha! Somebody remembers me. What do you know? Figured my name would be stricken from the record after me and my crew pulled our vanishing act. Wasn't our intent when Command sent us out here to reconnoiter, but well, things took an unexpected turn. <sighs> I'll bet. We came out here for the same reason as you, because Command was hoping they could make an alliance with the Patriarch and get some, uh, foreign aid. Trouble was, the more we snooped around, the more we realized that good old Pappy Buchanan was a bloody-handed dictator that the Rangers shouldn't have nothing to do with. <sighs> Unfortunately, Command didn't want to hear it. Told us they were going to make the deal anyway. Too desperate to be particular. We took a vote, the squad and me and decided that just wasn't the Ranger way. Instead, we made a pact to take Buchanan down and help Colorado become the home of freedom that Arizona could have been if the Rangers hadn't lost the Citadel to Matthias. Why do you think? We want you on our side, but not without seeing for yourself that Buchanan's a conniving shitbag. That's why I was calling. There's a man you should talk to. Locked up in an old bunker in Broadmoor Heights and guarded by mercs. So you may have to do a little shooting to get to him. But when you do, ask him about his beefs with the Patriarch. It'll open your eyes. His name is Ironclad Cordite, a warlord of the Eastern Plains. And one goddamn tough son of a bitch. As to how you find him, I'm a little shaky on the details but I'm told there's a hidden hatch on some monument at Buchanan Park in Broadmoor Heights. And listen, when you do find him, bust him out of there and do what you can to keep him alive. He could help you with liberty later. Also, if you need more firepower, he's got a shotgun for a left arm. I don't reckon he would, no. But then he wouldn't approve of you talking to me either. Gracias, compadres, and good luck. I'll be in touch. Dead red over and out.
Thanks for helping out. Any luck, Rangers? Can't thank you enough for looking out for my family. This man's been torn apart. Oh, look. Wolverine tracks.
stare at the walls and babysit these damn kids by the time... God. Who are you? You're not my family. You go away now. I'm sorting through dreams for my brother. Um, unless you have some more candies? Root beer flavored dreams for my brother. He's real nice. Randy. He always said we'd build us a place one day. Me, mommy, daddy, and him will all live up in the blue sky together. 
He has to come back first, though. Do you want some of these? They're my very last ones. The gummies say it's okay to chew on them. It's respectful. And they taste so sweet. Oh well. It's okay. More candies for Anita. Bad men came from the flatlands. Mummy and Daddy left. Then the doggies came for the candy and Mommy and Daddy and... The bad men are gone, but there's lots of candy. This poor girl. Oh, man. I... No. Mommy said never trust a stranger. Daddy said never take candy from a stranger, but that isn't fair. I want candy. If you bring me some candies, then I will be your friend. There were some candies in the other house, but they're scary doggies. I know. You go get the candies, and I'll stay here. Um, bye-bye! Rangers, I can't thank you enough for looking out for my family. Any luck, Rangers? I can't thank you enough for looking out for my family.
again. Don't shout at me! I'll come! I'll come! You won't melt like mommy and daddy, right? I didn't like it. Except for the jump ropes they made me. That was okay. I like those. Um, can I bring them? Yay! You're not actually so mean, are you? We can be friends. Do you want to be friends? I'll teach you how to talk to the moon, okay? But you have to be real quiet. Real quiet. And you gotta eat a few dreams first. You? I don't know how to thank you, Rangers. My, my little sister, safe and sound and all in one piece, but... Wait. What about everyone else? I, uh... Alright. I, I suppose. Once I sort this out, we'll talk at your base. 